Welcome to the Sports Card Hustle. Hey everybody, this is Michael coming to you with another episode on the Sports Card Hustle channel where we are going to continue our Topps Project 2020 Artist Spotlight Series covering none other than the man, the myth, the legend, Joshua Vides. Before we get into today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and lets other sports card collectors, other sports card investors, other Topps Project 2020 fans, Joshua Vides fans, and art collectors alike know that this video is for each and every one of them too. We're going to get right into it because we got a short one lined up for today because even though Joshua Vides is a legend in the art world, it has been a little bit difficult to find a lot of information or a lot of his pieces to share with each and every one of you. But I'm going to share a few things about him as well as something that I just purchased that I am very, very lucky he put his artistic touch on. Now Joshua Vides is someone you probably know from a few of these Topps Project 2020 cards such as his Ken Griffey Jr. card, his Sandy Koufax card, his Jackie Robinson card, his Nolan Ryan card, and my personal favorite that he's done thus far, his Dwight Gooden card. Now Joshua Vides is a Southern California based visual artist and illustrator and his work personally defines the premise of pop art. Now you can personally find him on his Instagram right here and as you scroll down you see his art pops and you also see that he has a unique style in and of itself. That style has lended itself very well to Topps Project 2020 but as you can see right here his Instagram has a lot of other artistic pieces that he has done throughout his career and it shows you more depth behind the man, the myth, and the legend and pop art personally is a very popular style of art that a lot of people seem to enjoy. It looks good on walls inside your home because it truly pops. It looks good in Fendi, such as when he's put his creative touch on their retail stores. And it looks good in comic books, books, and other mediums as well. Now speaking of Fendi, as you can see right here as we scroll down, he really went all out and created a unique experience for the customer when it comes to visiting this specific retail or business location. Now as you can see right here, Fendi really let him go all out. You can see the kitchen, you can see the bar, and it's somewhere that I would personally enjoy to visit and have a cup of coffee because it really is a unique style in and of itself. Now, I wanna get into some of the things that you can personally buy from Joshua Vides right now that lies outside of the Topps Project 2020 world, such as the things he's done for Matt Black Coffee. And if you're a coffee drinker, I think these are some unique things to buy for either your coffee mug collection, your bag collection, or just your coffee in general, starting with this signature blend of coffee. Now, as you can see right here, this coffee is gonna stand out if you have it in your apartment or home. Your friends are gonna be in the room, they're gonna look, they're gonna see this coffee bag, and they're probably gonna ask some questions because not a lot of coffee bags have such great design work behind them. And that is exactly why I purchased this coffee mug right here. Now, I love coffee. I love drinking it. I love putting it in the mug. I love dancing with it. And I love sharing unique coffee experiences, such as going out to coffee places with my friends and family and enjoying a great cup of joe a latte, a cafe cubano, 
And that is exactly why I am very enthusiastic to get this specific coffee mug and add it to my collection. I think it is gonna stand out. I think drinking out of it is gonna make coffee drinking a little bit better of an experience. And it is a very unique piece in and of itself. And I think it's gonna pop when I'm drinking out of it. So I'm very excited to get that, share it on my Instagram feed with each and every one of you, and continue supporting the top Project 2020 artists that I personally enjoy outside of just the Tops project. Now the last thing I want to share with each and every one of you is this everyday tote bag. It's not for me, but it might be for you. I don't really carry bags, but again, it has that pop art style as you can see right here. And it really fits with the Matte Black Coffee collection. And it kind of reminds me of what he's done for Fendi as well. So if you want to purchase any of these items, or just follow him further on social media. I have his Instagram and the website to where I purchase these things linked down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Joshua Vides is one of my favorite artists from Topps Project 2020. I bought some t-shirts and some prints from FDOT, and I've also bought a coffee mug design that Joshua Vides has done and I'm really enjoying supporting their art outside of Topps Project 2020. Sometimes their items are sold out, sometimes they get lucky and they're not, but Topps Project 2020 has been all about blending the art community with sports cards, bringing more attention to sports cards, as well as allowing the artists to get more attention as well, and I think it's worked. I think it's been great for sports cards, and I've had a lot of fun purchasing the cards. I'd have more fun if they arrived quicker and on time, but I've had a lot of fun purchasing the cards. I've had a lot of fun supporting their art outside of Tops and the sports card world, and I've had a lot of fun sharing my thoughts, the cards, the artist spotlights, with each and every one of you. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed. If you're watching this video, thank you so much for continuing on through. And until next time, my friends, peace.